Now we will discuss identifying the main points. Whenever we are engaged in a process of reading comprehension, it is important to identify main points presented in a text. Why it is important? Because these points enable the process of understanding and also informs the reader about the information that needs to pay attention to and also the author's point of view, that what author wants important to be conveyed, important information to be understood by the reader. So identifying main points is a very sophisticated task and it requires certain kind of skills on the part of readers to apply to the passages. Careful attention to local structure of discourse and this is what we have uh, seen that when we are talking about local structure of discourse we are looking at individual sentences that are presented in a given text or passage. Now it helps but it can still be difficult to figure out what an instructor or author regards as the main points. So understanding or looking at sentences at a, super, uh, at a surface level or at a superficial level is a different thing. We can understand that because just uh, understanding the meaning of sentences is a relatively easy task. But still this activity does not mean that a reader has been able to understood what the author or uh, in this regard maybe an instructor or teacher is trying to convey. Determining the main points from the author's point of view requires sophisticated comprehension strategies. So interpretation of the text, interpretation of the gist of the text from the author's point of view is crucial. We have seen that several studies have also been conducted in this regard where number of experiments were done to test readers' ability in terms of identifying the main points. Now, we will also look at one or two examples from those studies which have been conducted to see that the difficulty in determining main points may be traced to the presence of distracting and often confusing details. So if the reader finds the information pretty distracting and the details which are confusing that the reader is unable to figure out can cause deviation from the comprehension task. Mayer, Brandt and Bluth found that when the key points of a passage are signaled explicitly, performance improves. Now we have two sentences. One is explicit. One is explicit. And this is implicit. So number 36 is explicit and number 37 is implicit. If you look at number 36, it says a problem of vital concern is the prevention of oil spills from supermarket. Number 37 says prevention is needed of oil spills from supermarket. Now these two examples, they indicate information given in explicit as well as information given in implicit manner. The researchers found that the signals improved the immediate retention performance of readers whose comprehension was otherwise weak or you can say poor and especially those readers who did not share the schema of the author. This information which needs to be interpreted from the author's point of view and but they also the result shows that they did not affect the retention of good comprehenders. So the performance of the readers whose comprehension was otherwise weak and 
who did not share the schema of the author, but again, this did not affect the retention of good comprehension. So you see that the points signaled explicitly cause improvement in the reading comprehension performance. Another study shows the same results have been shared by another study which was conducted by Mayer and Poon in 2001. They believe that young adults were given nine hours of strategy training in which they were taught how to identify the main ideas in the text. They followed strategy training for the purpose of identifying the main ideas in the text. And they believed that strategy training led to the increased recall performance of the groups that were given training in assessing their interest in the subject matter or given no training. So two groups, one was given training and one was not given training. Now, in addition, as in the earlier experiments that we have seen, Signals led to improve recall performance. It is also believed that, however, strategy training was more effective in improving performance than signaling. Another Redder and Addison tried different approach that instead of highlighting the main points, they eliminated many of the details from the passage. Now, this is something that is different where the elimination took place as far as the main points were concerned. They were simply eliminated. And Redder and Edison found that retention was better when the material was presented in a condensed version rather than a long given or standard textbook version. So they believe that when unnecessary information or lot of information is reduced to sizable uh, text, then the retention is more likely to be improved. To conclude, Reader and Addison eliminated many of the details from the passage and found that retention was better when the material was presented in a condensed version. Another research conducted by Giora believes that analogies in text did not facilitate comprehension and may actually impair recall.